Helena Hutchins' death on the set of the film Rust was the result of top to bottom negligence. I'm Doma T. Pungo, and this is MTV News. Need to know. As more details come out about the tragic accidental shooting on the set of Rust that killed cinematographer Helena Hutchins and wounded the director, many are wondering who should be held responsible. Alec Baldwin, the actor who pulled the trigger, could be among those held liable for the incident, but as a producer on the project, as producers have a duty to enforce safety on set. But several people involved are under scrutiny. Affidavits break down the sequence of events on October 21st, the day of the incident. The film's armorer, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, who oversaw the prop guns and gun safety on set, checked the vintage Colt 45 revolver that was used for the scene. She claims that it was full of dummies and did not include any live rounds. The assistant director, Dave Halls, was in charge of checking the rounds. And he told investigators that he only checked three bullets, admitting that he should have checked all of them. It's common practice on set to holler code gun to indicate that a gun is full of dummies. Gutierrez Reed or Halls said code gun before Halls handed the gun to Baldwin to run through a scene. While rehearsing, the actor was pointing the gun at the camera when it went off. The gun is believed to have let off a real live bullet, which hit Hutchins in the stomach and director Joel Souza in the shoulder. Both were rushed to separate hospitals and Hutchins was pronounced dead. A tragic accident. Baldwin was seen crying after talking to investigators, tweeting in part, there are no words to convey my shock and sadness regarding the tragic accident that took the life of Helena Hutchins, a wife, mother, and deeply admired colleague of ours. Apparently, there were lots of mistakes on set. Authorities recovered 500 rounds of ammunition, which included what investigators suspect are live rounds. Now, to be clear, there should be no live ammo on a set, ever. But the LA Times reports that the day Hutchins was killed, some crew members allegedly used real bullets in the same gun to shoot at beer cans on their downtime. On top of that, Baldwin stud double misfired the same gun twice on the set of Rust after being told that that gun was cold. Rust producers claimed they didn't know about those previous misfires. After Hutchins died, they announced that they are conducting an internal review of safety protocols. Also being scrutinized are the people who handled the gun before Baldwin. In 2019, Dave Halls was fired from the movie Freedom's Path over gun safety concerns after a prop gun unexpectedly discharged and injured a crew member. And The Wrap reports that Hannah Gutierrez-Reed broke several safety protocols on the set of a film starring Nicolas Cage. A crew member told the outlet that she fired the gun without warning twice in three days, causing Cage to storm off set on one occasion. Meanwhile, on the set of Rust, several crew members had walked off in protest just hours before Hutchins was killed. LA Times writer Jen Yamato tweeted that Helena Hutchins had been advocating for safer conditions for her team. Per the Santa Fe New Mexican, the crew complained on social media of grueling hours, being housed in a hotel very far from set, and safety concerns. But the production replaced them with a non-union crew. All this comes as the union representing TV and film crews, the International Alliance of Theatrical Stage Employees, are making an industry-wide push for better working conditions. Hutchins' death and all of the failures that caused it have reinforced the union's call for more on-set protections. There's an agreement in the works between Yahtzee and the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers to make sets safer. But in the meantime, who will be held responsible for the rust incident? The props and weapons crew who handled the gun, the producers whose job it is to enforce safety protocols, the crew members, both union and non-union, who struggle to work safely on a difficult set. As far as TV writer Bess Kalb is concerned, this wasn't a tragic accident. It was willful negligence from the top down. Helena Hutchins was a wife and the mother of a nine-year-old son. In 2019, she was named a rising star by American Cinematographer magazine and managed to break into a position dominated by men. She's remembered for being as kind as she was talented. If anything can come from her tragic death, we hope it's the life-saving changes that were long overdue. I'm Doma T. Pungo, and that's what you need to know.